I think I first wanted to be in a band because I'd been singing from a really young age and I learnt guitar at age 10 and started writing music and when I got into high school I started listening to sort of pop punk bands and um, and I sort of got a rush from that and I was used to being on stage with a guitar in front of me and not hiding behind it but not being able to fully perform and I don't know, I was, I was kind of intrigued by it and um, I had the chance to join the band that I'm in now, Tonight Alive. It wasn't that band at the time but um, I had that opportunity in 2008 when they didn't have a singer and so we tried it out and it felt really good. It gave me adrenaline and I really liked that. So I think that's what triggered it. I think when we realised that the band was something special, that we had something was when I left high school probably and um, we'd been playing shows for, you know, on and off for a year and we were writing songs and it was just becoming honest and we were growing up and there was a lot happening at one time but that was what centred everything and grounded it all and brought everything into one place and it was the one thing that made sense, I guess, as a teenager. If this band hadn't have worked out and if it doesn't for some horrible reason, I guess I'd pursue my acoustic music a little bit more. I do love, I love a bit of folk music. I like sort of the, you know, the Irish bearded man kind of song. So I've written a couple and I'd love to pursue that later on. I sort of think that's what I'll do um, maybe in 10 years time and sort of do something a little bit more low key. I never really feel anxious or scared about putting our music out. I'm really, by the time it's written and recorded and, and I've reflected on it enough, I'm really proud of it and, and confident in it. And we're in the middle of recording our second full length album right now and it's like the most honest thing I've ever done. And it's kind of all about acceptance and having these self-realizations. And, and I really like that. Um, I really like that about it. So when I put it out, I feel like there's got to be someone else out there that feels the same way. And if they don't, like, that's all right. But I'm often feeling really good about it at first. <laughs> it, to be honest, at this point, no, I haven't ever thought I was going to die on tour. <laughs> out of all the times that we've slept on, you know, in the car parks or under the van because it's too cold or for whatever reason, I never felt unsafe. I guess I'll leave it at that. <laughs> I think the most emotional moment I've had on stage was um, probably in 2011 and we um, had just put out our record, What Are You So Scared Of, in Australia and it had just been like a really long haul to get to that point and we did this big headline tour and we played the Metro Theatre in Sydney which was a venue we'd supported bands in for years so to headline it felt really good and I don't know, it was just a really special moment for us when we um, play that show and I think um, there's a song on our record called Amelia about the passing of a girl I went to school with. She died at 16 so it was like it was really confronting when that happened and uh, we, en we ended up writing a song about it because for me I just had no idea how to deal with that and um, anyway pl we played it for the first time at the, on that show in Sydney at the Metro Theatre and it was like it was um, I think it was our encore so it was kind of like it was just a really glorious moment, really. <laughs> yeah, it was, a bit, it was a bit emotional, but it was a good one. I think I'd be pretty stoked if I was 15 and looking at what I'm doing now. What was I doing when I was 15? I wasn't in the band yet, but I loved pop punk music and I was in high school. It was kind of rough, but it was like, everyone was just figuring themselves out. And I think at that point, I was just realizing what I wanted to do. And I was lucky, like some of my friends still don't know what they want to do. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but. I think I'd be pretty happy looking at my life from my 15-year-old self. <laughs>